this. An old photograph book. All right. So, we wouldn't so, have those these days. <laughs> so tell me, tell me the story here. Well, I'll have to put my glass. Uh, North Carolina Orthopedic Hospital was, I think, the only place in North Carolina who took care of people with scoliosis. And I was there in the 50s. I think it started in 49. Mr. Robert Babington is the one who got it started. Dr. Roberts and Dr. Miller were the two main. And where, where was this located? In Gastonia, Gastonia, North Carolina. Huh. Now, it is not used for that anymore. And these were just pictures of people visiting me. And then they're physical therapists. Now, wait a minute. Now, now show me. Is this you here? No, those were two friends. Oh, okay. here, here I am right there. And right and we'll, here and there. Now, what are you doing there in the hospital? Were you getting a brace on there or uh, not, or cast not, or what? Not, I'll show you. Uh, we had to lie on one of these things that went like this every night. Like it, traction? Yeah, it was a frame. You can see it on there okay. every day. And then these were my physical therapist, and this was my friend. We were in a ward, so most of this is my friends. But my parents came to visit me about How long were you there in the hospital? I was there over a year. That's the way they did it back then. What year was this? 55, 56. Wow. My sister and my mother and daddy came. Well, then they gave me physical therapy to get me ready to be put into a cast. How long were you in that cast? For three months to begin with. Then they uh, had to do the two surgeries. And then I went back in a cast. And then I went home and stayed in a cast for nine months. Whoa! So, that's, a body cast so a year, a year in the hospital, oh, yeah. and then yeah. a year in the hospital before and after your surgery. A year, and then at home they cut the cast off to right here, so I could go to school. I could walk. But you were still in a cast. Oh yeah. And no hardware back then, right? This oh, was no. just. Like a they took, chamber. see, they took bone out of my leg. You can see the scar. Wow. And, and fitted into Mac. So that's what you had to work with, I guess. Yeah, that was a mess and in so there. So there's our doctors. They came around every week, um, you know, ward visits. Mm -hmm. Dr. Miller and Dr. Roberts were the main ones. Uh -huh. You were in there a year, right? Oh, yeah. I've got the dates back here, but uh, they would push us out on the porch to let us get some sunshine in the summertime. And then uh, this is my friend, having her birthday and her parents are there. We'll go back one more. Let me look at that again. Okay. We had to put a pillow under our chest so that, you know, we could move around. We could turn over. And, uh, wow. And that's me. And that's me. We're playing ball. <laughs> You're playing ball. <laughs> and we're throwing the ball back and forth. Because we had a ward, you know, where our beds were side to side. They took us to, they carried us down to the um, auditorium on our beds to go to school. Wow. But they, we didn't, we only went like three months out of the year. We didn't, I mean, in, in the morning, we didn't go in the afternoon. So we wouldn't miss a grade. So I was in the seventh grade while I was there. Wow. And so there I am. There I am with my mother and daddy and my cousin. That was a friend. <clears throat> that was when I got out. They cut it off. They kept the bottom part so that I could line it at night. They cut it up here. And so I was in between surgeries there. That was just somebody now, else. What was, what was the, when you say between surgeries, what was the first surgery and what was the second surgery? What did they do? Did they go in from the front yeah. and from the back, or what? I don't, I really don't know. They just did two separate... I wasn't separate... old enough to ask a lot of questions. But they uh, had to do the top fusion first. I, I see. And then the bottom one the next time. I see. Top and then the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And we had a, um, had a ward for the boys, girls, separate ward, and for the blacks. They had a one for the blacks. My daddy told me to check her teeth, but he didn't say anything about her back. All right, here I am. You can see the whole... After I had my <laughs> second surgery, they had to put a cast down through my foot, on my foot. Like that. Wow. 
Here I am. There I am. And so that's that. And that was just some things that were in the newspaper when I was in there. Um, see, that's another one. Wasn't there. that a Shriners Hospital? I hope it was just always called North Carolina Orthopedic Hospital. Yeah, that's all I know. I I but they don't do it anymore. Um, not like that. Yeah, not, well, no, that's why I thought, well, you know. We just saw one of our teenage patients who had an 86 degree curve that we fixed with rods, and he was in the hospital. I think it was just two nights. Yes. So, two, two nights. nights. Two days. Two nights. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. nights. Isn't that incredible? And he had an 86 degree curve, and we oh, got him wow. almost perfectly yeah. straight. Been there a year. Big, so things have gotten a little bit better, huh? Well, that's, yeah. I wanted you to see that's how awesome. you've improved things. Yeah. That was, 50, you know, in the 50s, 55, wow. 56, and I went home with a cast on, yep. 56, 57. Yep. It was really the Scoliosis Research Society that had a lot to do with that change because SRS was formed in 1962 with Paul Harrington and John Hall, who did my training. Mm -hmm. And they're, they are the ones that first got the Harrington rod and so on going, and they've been working for over 50 years now to make care better. Wow, that's wonderful. So, is Dr. Coonrad still living? He still is, yep, yeah. yep. He, uh, he, uh, he's a great man, took care of yeah, a lot of a lot wonderful of people. I but he, he gave me his skeleton. Oh, wow. He put it in his law uh, office. During wow. trials, I used him. We <laughs> named him Dr. Coonrad. That's funny. <laughs> Well, thanks for sharing all of this with us, and that's been a real blessing. And I'll help maybe share this with, with our, our folks through I our channel. I have no idea, but she has been very, got, we've got along very well, done everything. I know when we first got married on the honeymoon, she said, you treated me like I've got no problem. We were swimming in the, in the ocean. I didn't have any idea what problem she had. You yeah, know? wow. Well, you've done very well. Just so thankful you're doing well. Yes, thank the Lord. Um, so, do you teach any classes? I do. I do. I, I, I do a lot of teaching, especially in the area of safety. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just out in California teaching at a couple, with a couple different places out out in Stanford and UCSF this past week. So, mm -hmm. thanks for sharing about that. That's a really neat book. Well, that's the way we did it back in the fifties. Mm -hmm. Now you would take it all by. Phone. That's right. <laughs>